Hello, I'm Melissa. Some people in the chat know me as Missa. I've been Jimmy's girlfriend for over two years now. I just found out this past Monday. He's having sex outside the relationship locally, going out of town on all these trips and vacations, and not just with Bullhorn Betty. There's other women he's screwing along the way there and screwing along the way home, as long as screwing her and screwing me. He's manipulating women. He's video recording them without their consent, blackmailing them, and he will expose them to people. This is why I've apparently never heard anything. But when I've asked certain people, they've never let me know anything. Allegedly, there's a rumor he's selling these things online to people. That it's just quite a big crazy scenario. And everybody's crazy. Everybody's a troll. Everybody's making it up because he's such a rock star that everybody wants to be with him. Bullhorn Betty didn't believe I was his girlfriend, even though his car's in my name. And look, here's Lolo. She's pretty much with me 99% of the time. So I want women out there to know that if he has bullied you, he has threatened you, he's chased you out of his life, off of YouTube, harmed you, put you down, you're not the only one. Apparently, from what I know, there's 27 willing to come forward and willing to tell their truth. There's many more who are afraid scared of his retaliation of what he may do i want to give everybody a safe haven to share their story to be heard if you don't want to come up and you don't want to discuss it you don't want to share it you can send it in i will read it for you i want women to know what type of man he is i want the people who are with him to know what types of games he's playing with other women and i want any woman who might be considering talking to him in the future to realize it is not worth it what he will do and how he will tear you apart and drag you and use you and everybody, everybody on his channel is disposable. We're all cast away when he's done getting what he needs from us. Or what he thinks we should be doing for him. This little angry man has hit me. He has abused me. I have a mark on my arm from where he hit me on my birthday. It's crazy. And Bullhorn Betty's laughing. She says I don't exist. I don't have it, I'm just some crazy ex-girlfriend who should get over Jimmy, even though I've sent her pictures of Texas of where he's denied her on their trip, where he's called me on the regular, where he's texted me every day, he's told me he's loved me, but I'm a crazy ex-girlfriend. I've sent her pictures that have never been posted online on my page or Jimmy's page of his birthday, of me dropping him to the hotel or the airport. He wants to deny all this, and like I told her, of course he would deny me. Look at the text messages, honey. He's denying you. He's denying us all. Everybody thinks they're the only one in his life. But in this past year, he's been with 31 different women. Whether it's been sex video chatting, in real life, or just however or whatever. I just want attention to be brought to this. I want you to know he's using this platform as a predator. He's not doing this in good cause. He, he doesn't have any good purpose to be on YouTube. He's not out here trying to save little kids. Him and Betty are running a scam so they can go on vacation. They've already been on four this year on all the viewers' dimes. And I've been stupid enough to pack his bag to go send him with another woman. He can deny and deny. This channel will bring out the truth and will expose him for who he is. And Bullhorn Betty is okay to sleep with the taken one man. She knew in June I told her we were together. I told her again we were together. She said, because nobody knows I exist. I said, the people who need to know I exist, know I exist. My personal business and Jimmy's personal business isn't for everybody. It's not fodder for everybody to sit around, to know, to talk about, to harass people over it. I liked being private in his life because I didn't have to deal with this. But apparently being private has just made it take longer to have these allegations come to me, to hear video messages of, of him walking someone through oral sex for him, to see pictures of text messages he's done, to see his penis photos he sends to every woman by about the third time you're chatting with him online, he's whipping his penis out, ladies. That's predatory. Then what's even more predatory is a few chats later when he's having you go naked for him and he's telling you how to perform, playing with yourself for him, he's recording you. He's taking screenshots. He's recording that video. And then he's gonna threaten you like he did one other lady who threatened him to come and tell me. He said he was gonna expose her with these videos she had no idea of to her family, to her work, to ruin her livelihood, to shut her up and has had her in fear since then. I do not fear Jimmy. I never have and I never will. And I want all y'all out there to know you don't have to fear him either. I'm giving everybody a voice, a voice to finally 
can't be heard, that he can't shut down. That nobody can say, oh, it's a troll. Oh, she's angry. Oh, she's bitter. Oh, she's crazy. Oh, the YouTube shit's getting in your head. You're taking this shit wrong. There will be no confusion going forth on who Jimmy Williams is. He's a woman beater. He's put his hands on me several times. He's a serial cheater. He's a manipulator. He is a liar. He has no soul and no heart. And at the end of the day, everything is about the almighty dollar. Just stay tuned for more content. Because I've got some interviews coming up for you.